All right, this video is going to cover bladder tumors, and uh, I thought I'd start us off first uh, with a normal bladder biopsy. And so this is a, a normal bladder biopsy in a patient that had some hematuria. You can see that the biopsy itself is actually really small. Uh, this is actually pretty good magnification. It's still tiny. And if we go down and we take a look at it, you'll see that this is what normal urothelium looks like. So we have the stroma underneath and some inflammatory cells, but normal urothelium is only three to five cell layers thick and it has what we call umbrella cells at the top and these are big uh, polygonal shaped cells that sit on top and they can have funny looking nuclei. Um, but you'll notice that it doesn't look all that atypical. You have a lot of cytoplasm which imparts a, a pink color to it uh, and so this is normal urothelium in a biopsy. Now we're going to contrast this uh, with this tumor and you can see that this is a what we're going to call a low-grade papillary urothelial neoplasm and you'll see that just at low power that this one's actually much more purple and what that means is that there's way more nuclear material material here than cytoplasm and that's why this is purple as opposed to pink and when we go down and we take a look at it you will see that actually the thickness has increased uh, and so instead of just having a few cells thick, we have many, many cells thick. And if you go down and you take an even closer look, you will see that in addition to the increased thickness, that the nuclei are all slightly enlarged compared to the last one. And again, we have a decrease in the amount of cytoplasm. You still have these goofy looking umbrella cells sitting up on top. Uh, so this one, and here's one mitotic figure in this field, uh, so occasionally you'll see mitotic figures and a little bit of nuclear atypia, meaning that this nuclei is bigger than the one next to it. Uh, but these changes are considered mild. These tumors are going to be treated uh, with transurethral resection, which is essentially where they use a thing that kind of does what a rotorooter does. It just kind of digs out little strips and chunks of the tumor until there's nothing left. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can use BCG uh, and put that into the person's bladder, clamp it off, and allow that to essentially chemically burn the tumor away. Uh, it's a rather uncomfortable procedure, but it's actually quite effective. And so these tumors don't require any kind of surgical resection of the bladder. Uh, they actually do okay. And this is in direct contrast to the one that I'm going to show you next. So this is a papillary tumor and this next tumor is not a papillary tumor. This tumor comes out of what we would call a flat carcinoma in situ. And so you can see here at the surface, this is the surface of the bladder, so this would be the lumen of the bladder, we have very highly atypical cells. And so this is what we would consider a carcinoma in situ. You'll notice that this one is not papillary compared to the last one. It's actually flat, uh, but these cells are very atypical. Uh, lots of nuclear material, very little cytoplasm, which is why this appears intensely purple. Or And then as we look deeper into the bladder, you will notice that this tumor is actually just invading straight through the bladder mucosa and you can see it here all these very atypical cells and the important thing in this one is that here's the muscle layer in the bladder or the muscular muscularis propria as we call it and you can see that the tumor is invading into the muscle of the bladder and this is a bad sign because in cases like this this patient is going to have to have a cystectomy meaning that they're going to have to have their bladder taken out this tumor is especially aggressive in that it goes all the way through the muscle and into the fat that is surrounding the bladder. And this is actually a variant called the micropapillary variant of urothelial carcinoma that's known to do this. It's known to be a, a bad actor. In other words, if we see this one, even without invasion into the muscle, the patient often gets their bladder taken out. And so here we have an example of a very malignant uh, urothelial carcinoma coming out of a flat carcinoma in situ lesion.